The Battle of Dinain was fought on 24 July 1712, as part of the War of the Spanish Succession. It resulted in a French victory under Marshal Villers against Austrian and Dutch forces under Prince Eugene of Savoy. Background The War of Spanish Succession had raged since 1701. After over a decade of war, France was in a dark period, both financially and militarily. The early victories of Marshal Villers at the Battle of Friedlingen and the Battle of Hochstadt were followed by numerous defeats to the Allied forces, most notably the armies under Prince Eugene of Savoy and the Duke of Marlborough. In 1708, after the rout of Audenarde, nearly all the strongholds of northern France were under the control of the Austro-British coalition. There was also an economic crisis leading to famine and high mortality in the populace. The command of the French Northern Army went to Marshal Villers in 1709, who wasted no time in seeing to its reorganization. When the Allied campaign led by Prince Eugene and the Duke of Marlborough engaged the French at Malplaquet, Villers was wounded and the French retreated from the field, but the Allies suffered twice as many casualties and their campaign soon sputtered out. France's precarious position had been stabilized, the Allies were unable to achieve their goal of forcing harsh terms on the Bourbons, and the war continued. Prelude in May 1712, Villers prepared to take the offensive. The French gathered an army of 200,000 men on the northern border, stretching from Arras to Cambrai. The Allied Northern Army was positioned along the Scarpa between Douai and Marchienne, occupying the communes of Dinain and Landraces. The successful but controversial Marlborough had recently been relieved of his command and the British forces were now under the leadership of the Duke of Ormond who was under secret orders not to fight alongside the Allies under the Prince of Savoy. In June, Prince Eugene besieged and captured Le Quesnoy. The Duke of Ormond withdrew his forces during the siege, leading to a rift between the British and the rest of the Allies. Battle Sequence after a detailed examination of the enemy dispositions, Villers decided in the greatest secrecy to attack Dinain. Elements of the French cavalry were sent to seize the various bridges crossing the river Selle which ran through Le Cateau to join the Scheldt, opposite Dinain. During the evening a French detachment also took up positions around a mill at Haspress, blocking the river crossing there. That night the French infantry began to march towards Prince Eugene's forces at Landraces. In response to this threat, Prince Eugene reinforced Landraces, weakening the Allied right wing holding Dinain. At dawn, however, Villers swung the line of advance of his army and aimed it in three columns at Dinain. At five o'clock in the morning, Villers and his principal lieutenants drew up their plan of attack at Alvernay le Sec. They chose the windmill there as a vantage point for observation of the surrounding lowland. At seven o'clock the French infantrymen reached Nerville sur Esco and were immediately ordered to seize the bridges across the Scheldt. At eight o'clock, the Allies were surprised to discover the large French presence in the area. The Earl of Albemarle, at the head of the Dutch garrison in and around Dinain, warned Prince Eugene, but the Prince of Savoy was not greatly concerned at the time. By one in the afternoon the attack had developed to the point of an assault on the palisade at Dinain. The French sappers led the infantry against heavy fire and took Dinain at the point of the bayonet. Many defenders were killed and the remaining Dutch infantry attempted to escape across the mill bridge but it collapsed during the retreat and hundreds of Allied troops drowned. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Prince Eugene attempted to force his way across the Scheldt at Pruvy to help Albemarle. Under the command of the Prince de Tingri, French regiments held the bridge at Pruvy against repeated Austrian attacks. Finally, as the day drew to a close, the French destroyed the bridge to prevent it falling into the hands of the enemy. This left the Prince of Savoy's army blocked on the left flank by the Scheldt and the Allies could not counterattack to retake Dinain. There, Albemarle and his staff were taken prisoner, together with some 4,100 troops. Aftermath 
The battle was not immediately recognized to be as decisive as it turned out to be, most of Prince Eugene's army was relatively unscathed, however, with the loss of Dinain the Allied position began to unravel, and over the next few months the French recovered most of the towns they had lost in the region in previous years.